for my French brother from another mother right now. Let him hear it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm so excited to be here for a number of reasons. Uh, the main one, this is my first show for a professional audience. Also, also, I survived driving the 110 highway to get here. How about that? How about that? Almost didn't make it. I don't take the 110 for just anybody, folks. I don't. There are plenty of highways I will take for anybody, like the 710, 210, 134, 170, 118. I'll take that for any motherfucker, man. Literally any stranger I will take the 118 for. The 110, though, I don't take for anybody. I don't. You have no idea how lucky you are. You know, like the 405, the 10, the 101, the big dogs. That's like friends, family. I got to care about you to take those highways, right? Or business, you know, you gotta pay me to take those highways, right? But the 110, man, that's like my wife, my mistress, and you guys, that is it. And I'm here, I made it, I survived. Cause the 110, like I got on south of Pasadena too, man. You're not guaranteed to make it off if you get on. You ever been on, get on south of Pasadena? You know, Rich, I don't know if there's enough room to get on here. It's dangerous. You know the 110 is one of the oldest highways in America? Did you know that? Yeah, yeah, you know that. You can tell, too. Especially if you get on south of Pasadena. You, they absolutely built that shit before people cared about one another. <laughs> before we had things like liability. <laughs> like, it's obvious the person who made the 110 was not at all thinking about making some victim's family whole again. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, absolutely not. But I, I took it to get here, and I, I made it, man, so I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I do, I do feel the need to clarify, uh, since this is gonna be on Amazon, I don't have a mistress. Uh, yeah, don't have a mistress. I also don't have a wife, but I do have a fiance, guys, yeah. I got engaged, not only did I get engaged, I got engaged to a doctor, what up, yeah. <laughs> That's, I waited for the Amazon show to be, make my big announcement. This is my retirement show, guys. How about, yeah, yeah, because I don't have to do this shit anymore. <laughs> I'm here because I want to be, not because I have to be. But uh, I will tell you this, being with a doctor does come with side effects. Yeah, it does. Uh, for instance, because she's a doctor, she can tell immediately whenever my eyes are dilated, right? <laughs> Which sucks, because she knows whenever I'm stoned. Yeah. You see, most people who are with a partner that's not into marijuana, they can still get away from it. They can cover up any number. They take a shower, pop a piece of gum. She's a stoner. <laughs> Shoot some banaca if it's the 90s. You got all kinds of possibilities. It's a young crowd. That one wasn't for everybody. Don't worry. <laughs> But see, I can't do any of that. I cannot do any of that. Like, I literally walk in the door. She takes one look. She already knows. She's just like, ah. have you been networking again? Before I can even respond, she's peering in for a closer look. Just like, oh my God, Sean, do you know that your eyes are dilated to an eight right now? An eight. Yeah. But this is the thing, I, I really want the relationship to work, so I'll, I tell her the truth. You know, I'm just like, baby, you got nothing to worry about. An hour ago, I was at a nine. <laughs> You're catching me on the way down. <laughs> Chill out, she's a stoner too. <laughs> just let me land this plane like Denzel in flight. <laughs> Everything is going to be fine. Uh, I'm lucky though, uh, we, even though uh, I've decided to go, I guess it's the new normal. Uh, we, you, know, you, know, you meet on an online dating website, right? Then you become boyfriend and girlfriend, then you become engaged, then she's your baby mama, and then you get married, right? That's <laughs> the move. Uh, <laughs> the reason I bring this up is because I just, we just had our OB appointment and we are five months into a pregnancy. Yeah! Yeah, we, uh, we have been trying for a while. It has been an uphill battle. Uh, and I just have to say, I got to give it up for all, for all the ladies out there. I mean, 
I've had a front row seat for all of this, and I mean, without you, uh, ma humankind would be over with without uh, the women. And you don't, you don't realize that until you start trying to have a baby and, and go through some of the obstacles. We actually had to go through the in vitro fertilization process, IVF. And uh, if you don't know what IVF is, that is when you try to have a baby naturally, but you can't. So you have one in defiance of God's will. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what it was. Yeah, we went out. We got the most expensive Jewish doctor, and we bought it, guys. That's the miracle of life. The miracle of life. We did it. Um, but I, I, I can't say enough about my, like, I, my, my, my lady is such a trooper, and she went through so much for this. And I, I you know, for me, though, it, it's still, it's a process for the guys, too. You know, mainly I have to show up on time to deliver the sample, right? <laughs> That's my big main job. Before you get the sample of life, you actually have to do a test sample. They got to find out if your swimmers can swim to go on with, you know, Spain and all this money to actually do it. And so I found out, I found out, did you know that uh, when they test your swimmers to find out if they can, you know, actually do it, they test them on a hamster egg. Did you know that? Yeah, a hamster egg. I tell you this for two reasons. Uh, number one, now that I can't unknow this, you can't unknow it either. <laughs> and number two, if you see any hamsters running around with curly brown hair, those little bastards are mine. Let them know that daddy's looking for them, okay? <laughs> now, they have actually uh, a very, uh, it's a, I'll say this about the IVF process from my experience. It, it was the weirdest experience of my entire life. Like, they actually have rules. Uh, prior to me coming in to deliver uh, any samples, I was not allowed to generate a sample on my own for at least three days, no more than five. Yeah, at least three, no, member, no more than five. Now, the weirdest part about this rule is that my lady was aware of the rule as well. So for the first time in our relationship, she was checking in on my sample schedule. Yeah, yeah, a little awkward in the car, like, well, did you? Yeah, on day four, just like you told me. <laughs> Give them our strongest swimmers. <laughs> it's weird, though, and as weird as that is, like, the weirdest part, though, without a doubt, was my time in the waiting room. Because every time I was in the waiting room, there would be no less than 15 women with me in the waiting room. Want to know why? Because they only have one room for the guys. I'd be the only one there. They have one room for the guys, unlimited room for the women. The whole situation set up is very anti-dad, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> and the weirdest part, though, is I'd be sitting amongst the 15 women when I get the lady at the front desk would call my name. And then I got to stand up and walk past all of them, pretending like I'm not just going to go in the room over there and sample myself. <laughs> and then once I'm in the room, it was the most pressure I've ever felt in my entire life. And I'll tell you why. Because it's not a big cup, guys. Not a big cup. A lot of room for error if you get caught up enjoying yourself too much. I actually had to call a timeout. I had to set a play, set myself a screen, get myself a high percentage shot, and dunk it home. Because heaven forbid, I get too carried away. Next thing you know, I'm spilling it on the ground. I'm picking my child up off the floor. That's not how I want them to start life. And I'm happy to say, guys, I got it all in the cup. I made it. I made it. Day one, I'm a good dad, and I'm going to be a girl dad, too. I'm super excited about it. Thank you guys very much. Enjoy the rest of your night. Comedy Q. This has been a Funny Media Group production.